you are a designer and you don't want to just write a prompt and expect for some random images to design for you, right? I understand that. And the good news is we are not alone. There's an AI company called Viscom, which feel our pain as well. The founder of the company is Jordan, who is a designer himself, so they know our concerns about the AI in design fields. So in this video, I'm gonna give you three reasons that will make you use AI for your creative process. Also stick to the end of the video if you want to learn a very important trick that I got directly from the Viscom team that will help you get better results. I've been following Viscom and experimenting with it since the early days. I also did a couple of videos before in this channel, but I'm so happy to say that this video is sponsored by Viscom. Having an official collaboration and being a part of this journey is absolutely amazing, so thank you for that. Let's talk about these three reasons. It is your sketch, your design, your idea. But faster results. You don't just write a prompt and wait for an image. You are in control of the process. Basically, you can import a sketch of yours or you can sketch directly there in Viscom. Then you type a prompt, but you don't want to focus on writing an article, right? You already did the sketch, so you can keep the prompt very short and directly to the point and hit generate. The result might be surprising. Probably it will be surprising because it is not reading your mind and bringing you the most desired image. It helps you to generate different possibilities on your creative process. So don't be shy and hit generate a couple more times to have alternatives. Then you can pick the favorite one and develop it further inside of Viscom. Finally, when you reach to the level that you want to refine further, export it and finalize in Photoshop. Do you see? It is a design process, it is still creative process and you are in control. You still sketch, you still work on your design yourself and AI just helps you as a tool. This way you can be really faster, generate more alternatives and support your creativity. There is this question, will AI steal my job? Will there be need for designers soon? As an answer, I want to share with you something that I saw recently online. It says something like, AI will not take your job, but someone who use AI will. I know it sounds a bit scary, but I kinda agree. It is like using Photoshop or Blender now. In the past, when these softwares were new, some people were against them, and some people were interested in using them to help their own design process. And today, all of us use Photoshop and Blender, right? By the way, if you still don't know Photoshop or Blender, you can learn from my online courses on my website. I see the AI exactly same way. It is an amazing technology that is developing every day and it is not slowing down. So rather than ignoring it, it's better to adapt and use it for your own advantage. Just like any other tool, it is really important how you use it and what do you create with it. Let the AI help you with your process. You don't have to use it every day or you don't have to use it heavily, but it might be a smart idea to get familiar with it. It is not stealing other creatives and other designers' work. Probably you are aware of anti-AI discussions in art and design community. There are many concerns like you just type a prompt to AI and it generates, it actually mix up different designers and different artists' works and give you a result. Well, this is not the case with Wiscom. First of all, at the beginning you give your own visual input. You sketch there or you upload your own sketch. So you decide the proportions and the overall design of your own car. So the core idea, the main idea is created by you. And also Viscom AI model is trained with the public images and Viscom is on the same side with us. For example, if you type something like a design by Scott Robertson, Viscom will not allow you to do that. And if you have any further concerns on this topic, you can directly contact to Viscom and they will support you on this. They can block using certain names and they can help you with protecting your designs. So we are all together on the same side in this topic. I think more importantly, it is not a one-step process. It is not only text to image. You sketch, you develop, you change. Basically, you are in control. And if you still think that it's based on other people's works and stealing, think about your own design process. We as humans work the same way. Over the years of observing other creations, other art, other designs, we build a visual storage and simply mix and develop further with new designs. It is exactly the same thing, so don't get weird about it. You are still in control of your design process.
AI can be tricky and doesn't give you the results you have in mind sometimes. It is an ongoing process and I will make another video more like a tutorial. But quickly, let me tell you one trick that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. While using Viscom, try to keep your lines clean. When we sketch on paper, we might enjoy using multiple lines and going to details or even adding some basic shading. However, keep in mind that all these lines become a data for AI to use. So your regular sketching style can be too confusing or too complicated. If you input more clean sketches and clean lines, also the results will be more clean and more advanced. We will go into details in another video. Also, I'm in constant contact with Wiscom team, so if you have any questions, write down on the comments and I will ask them for you. If you enjoyed the video, please show it on the like button and subscribe if you are new and if you want to see more car design content. See you in the next video.